today on Exposing the Bat. You suck at keeping your half guard. Those knee cut passers keep just slicing right through there. I got two tips today that's gonna help you guys get better and stop getting your guard passed. What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be giving you guys two techniques to stop those dirty knee cut passers, all right? So we're gonna be dealing with a, a knee cutter. I got a dirty knee cutter here with me, his name is Corey. All right, so we're gonna start in uh, that half guard position where they're gonna start into their knee cuts, all right? So we're dealing with a half guard player. He doesn't like staying in a half guard position, so he's gonna pop up and he's gonna drive that knee in there. I was slow and stupid, and I did not get my arm underneath here to prevent him from slicing, so he drove his knee all the way through, and now I'm just barely hanging on for life back here with my thighs just squeezing his ankle and praying he doesn't pass my guard, all right? Guys, so what we're dealing with today is I can't have him have control of my arm, all right? That's the that's the death of this this position right here. So we're gonna I don't want him having control of my arm because he's gonna be able to pull up on my elbow and this is gonna prevent a lot of the stuff that I want to do. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to make sure that I'm playing really good with my hands and making sure that he doesn't get control of my hand here. So I'm always gonna be hand fighting. All right. The second thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be looking to place my my frame that's been up in here behind his leg, okay? So lots of different ways that you can do this. You're just gonna pull your chest back slightly, dive your hand in, and I'm gonna hook the front of his leg here, okay? That's gonna make him try to sit back on my arm as heavy as he can, all right? So this is the perfect opportunity for us to now get him off balance, all right? So now I'm gonna throw his weight forward, all right? So whether I've got control of his hand or he might be trying to put pressure on me at this point, I'm gonna knee him and drive him in this direction, okay? So I'm gonna knee him and drive him in this direction. When I do that, I'm gonna immediately, I'm gonna hook right on his hip right here. I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna put one hook in. As soon as I get this hook in, I'm reaching for my back strap grip Okay, so my back strap grip is gonna be this hand coming across and getting a cross grip on the opposite side lapel. Now I'm gonna start pulling him to my side and I'm looking for his hand on this side. So I start falling off of him and pulling him here and I'm looking for control of this hand. Once I've got control of this hand, I'm gonna throw my second leg in, all right? Now I've got this dirty knee cutter right where I want him and I can start going in and finishing him from there, all right? So that's how the first way you're gonna stop that dirty knee cut passer from ever passing your guard again. Alright guys, the second variation that we want to give you guys today to stop those dirty knee cutters from passing your guard is going to give me an option when my opponent has studied a little bit more. He's gotten a little smarter, he's watched some John Donaher videos, and he knows what to actually grab when he's knee cutting. So, we're going to get into it, alright? So we're in our half guard position here, alright? So, uh, my opponent goes in to drive to his knee cut, but this time he winds up grabbing my sleeve and he's pulling up on it so that I can't get on my shoulder. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm smarter than letting him get in an underhook here so I'm keeping my elbow in nice and tight, but I'm still just barely hanging onto his foot for dear life. So it's just a matter of time before he puts enough pressure to get past my guard. So while I'm in this position right here, I'm gonna feed my hand underneath and I'm gonna get a hold of his collar. This is gonna give me enough secondary support when I knee him in the butthole, okay? So I'm gonna knee him forward, but he's got a hold of my arm this time. So as I knee him forward, he puts his hand on the mat. I'm gonna reach up and I'm gonna get my secondary grip and he's gonna push back into me. When he pushes back into me, I'm gonna put my hand on his back to prevent him from getting all the way over the top of me and this is going to allow me to switch my hips right here okay so I switch my hips as soon as I switch my hips I have to step over with my foot and hook his leg right here all right so now I'm going to reach underneath his armpit and I want that lapel grip right here all right and I'm going to put my the point of my elbow right in the middle of his back to control him all right so from here I'm going to come up to my elbow so that I can start to hip out so I'm going to hip out and I'm going to pull my knee around the back of him right here okay so once I've got the knee around the back of him now I can start to sit over to my side throw my hook in and finish off this dirty knee cutter with a choke and make him turn purple and don't let go until he dies because he tried to pass my guard all right so that is the second variation on stopping those dirty knee cutters. You guys let us know what you think. If you like either one of those variations, drill them, put them into your game, 
suck less, and do more jujitsu. We'll see you guys on the next one.